Hola! Well, I'm coming as me and then I'll come as Grandma for a little bit, I guess. I just wanted to let you know that I've got some things going on. There have been a lot of uh, things going on that really have gone uh, unrecorded. No, well, that's not true. They've been recorded, but they have not been published. And that is purposeful. Um, so I was, uh, under I understood that I was going to be in a three-day null zone, is what they called it. Um, they explained a long time ago when I worked with them the first time. Uh, and I'm going to refer to them as they a little bit. That, uh, that they'll come a time of a null zone. <laughs> I didn't understand at the time. I kept talking about the null zone in my writing the last, uh, I don't know, a couple months. But I understand this is the null zone they were talking about. So, um, it's information that was misinterpreted, actually, by the uh, Pueblans. They uh, understood about the null zone, and uh, they understood that um, there had to be a place where they could uh, be happy and survive uh, without being on the grid. Because after the uh, after the time of the null zone, nothing artificial would remain. That's the prophecy. So I'm, I'm sitting at the teachers, and uh, <laughs> I'm on your couch, and it's okay. So that mean that uh, <laughs> so how am I gonna get around? Because uh, that means that all the tires will melt. <laughs> that was my thinking. <laughs> nothing artificial will remain. Nothing artificial will remain. So I'm thinking, okay, petroleum products, that's pretty, that's, that's obvious, right? Yeah, that was my thinking. And I'd say, okay, so listen, all these changes are going to happen. How will I be in the right place at the right time? I mean, it sounds like it's possible. It might be easy to, you know, get croaked by, I don't know, an earthquake or what have you. Craziness or whatever. And um, they said, you'll know, just listen. Just listen. You'll know. We'll always put you in the right place at the right time. You guys are expected to be on the grid in certain places, and that's why you get moved around. And it may be something that you don't understand, but uh, you're you're listening, and you're doing as you as you know you need to. Uh, there are some who understand what I'm saying, and some who think I'm crazy. That, my dear, from this day forward, is perfectly. So, that's part of it. It's the disbelief, you know? <laughs> and so much has fallen. And so much has been understood. But much of this is very personal. I just had a very long conversation with a human being who I greatly value and who greatly values me. She has shown me consistently honor deference. She never turns away from me. Ever. Ever. She just doesn't. She wouldn't think of it. She wouldn't... She wouldn't criticize what I say or find fault in it. She might we have a really lively discussions. Really lively. Well, I don't think... So. I, no, well, have you... Wait. And we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Neither of us can take any of it personally. It, it just is understood. Um, and that, that, that has healed me of something that was um, deep and true and necessary to experience and necessary to now discard. So I had a very long conversation with her in which I revealed um, a lot. More than I knew, and truly what I knew was phenomenal <laughs> and accurate. <laughs> really accurate <laughs> but now the information is more complete and I like the grandma voice <laughs> and it is really really nice when well, you know if I'm, if I'm in what I call high channel um, and then I stop and I'm sometimes giggly and then you know I pad into my bathroom and it's like la 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 and they're still talking to me and I'm on the pot la 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 <laughs> it's just it's just not stop but last night, they weren't there. <laughs> they just weren't. I said, hey, you guys, what, what the hell? <laughs> no. 
and they've been telling me for the, it was about 24 hours of um, this is your time you got to make some decisions here it's not up to us anymore you got to do some things and so we're backing away and uh, we'll see you on the other side so the null zone is um, I think speaking to uh, this final trigger of ascension and I'm going to be explaining about ascension. They have explained that the mechanics of embodiment need to be explained and described by someone who has experienced it. And so the second track, yes, they're going to also give us profound physics. Profound physics. But it's important for someone to stand as a representative of having done it. And so today I'm just letting you know that um, I'm not complete. Um, I've been through a series of um, experiences which explained a lot to me about so much, so much, so much, so much, so much. And my life was set up to understand these things. I would not allow for anything less. My dad sat in that channeling uh, last night. And I said, one of the first things out of my mouth was, yeah, well, I came here to ascend. <laughs> and he goes, well, <laughs> what? WTF, little girl? Not in a bad way, not at all. Just like, wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> How did I miss that? <laughs> well, it's because I never told you. <laughs> and if I did, I blew it off and uh, or I left a clue and you didn't pick it up. And it's no big deal because it scares people. It scared me. Come on. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. 55 years. Run, run, run. No, it can't possibly be true. So let's cloak it in lots of different things and let's uh, let's experience death a lot and, and uh, really get a feel for how it feels because, uh, baby, that's what it's all about. Not really dying, come on. That's the uh, profound misunderstanding that I had and uh, that was, uh, I was assisted in understanding more about um, just how things work and so that's kind of neat. And so anyway, I had this friend who was willing to listen to it all What's more, she took notes. And what's more is she took it seriously. At certain points I said, hey, okay, so we both know that when you are with someone who is a little off their game uh, in certain ways, just off their game, uh, in a more fundamental, like, weave way than just I'm having a bad day and I'm cracking up, okay? There are certain people who just don't think straight and uh, who can have their thinking go to a place that is uh, unhealthy for them, that causes harm to them and others. That's what I'm talking about. That's what mental illness is. It's just not having control of modulation enough and worth enough and uh, it's biochemical. It's, there's a lot of things. It's karmic. But to be there and to not quite get it, and then you do things that are not right and harmful and hurt others. I just don't want to hurt others with this, okay? So that's been my drumbeat, drumbeat, drumbeat. I want to make sure I'm not hurting myself, so I've done research. I've dedicated my life to understanding not only human behavior, but human history and uh, philosophers and esoterics and religions and uh, ask any of my friends. I'm just a nerd. <laughs> I'm a nerd. But I like the spiritual stuff. And it kept calling and calling and calling. No religion could contain it. I tried. I, would, I, I really did. Hinduism is the closest thing because it's more multidimensional and it's just less judgmental and I just, you know, it's sort of like the old ways, but still, with the with that wobble, with that warp, with that... Mm. So anyway, um, perhaps you can tell that, you know, there's been a change, I don't know. The problem is that I, I saw a video this morning. And I said I was merged, and then I was just like, rah, 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 and I was really angry, and I was, you could feel it. The problem is it was amplified, and I was like, wow, wow. 
there's something not right there and my nose went crazy Whew. doesn't smell good wow look how angry she is look at how this is how it's gonna be she is wow what's going on with her through a series of realizations I've understood that there was um, just a there's a wobble and um, understandable and healing on you can use all means with that so that's good I learned that and um, you know there's this idea that when when you uh, attain a certain skill level that your feelings go away and that's not true at all <laughs> you should have seen the the tears and the goofiness and all that stuff and at certain points in the video um okay check it out where's the amplitude how does it feel is everything running smooth does this make sense is it coherent does it make sense does it make sense does it make sense does it seem reasonable is it okay is it harmful it's really important to have someone to modulate that and make sure, for me. Not because I question the knowledge. It's seamless. <laughs> it's just, it just is what it is. It's the physics that does not argue with itself. You see, that's all it is. Simple physics, it's beautiful. But, take a look around. Um, I kind of jumped off a cliff here, guys. Haven't you noticed? I have. My son has. So this is an all zone. I can't believe it's only been 11 minutes. Well, I looked up 11.55. Wow. But here's the deal. I was always told there'd be a null zone. There'd be a three day period where it would be dark. Both night and day. We want to come now and finish up. Okay? Okay. I think she has done very, very, very well. She has put a lot together. And now, what is going to happen is she's going to look at the video and fall deeper and deeper in love with her. So. And darling, it's entirely appropriate. Not only are you beautiful, okay? Just accept it. It's okay. It's okay to be pretty. There's not a soul on earth who wants to hurt you. Don't you understand? So stop that. If you love the wrinkles, you keep them. If you want to get rid of them, then you love them. Oh wait, you, you know how to do this. If you like the little neck thingy, then keep it. If you think it's funny and makes people judge you, and that is funny for you to watch them in judgment, well then do it. But otherwise, love it away, like you did your belly. We will tell lots and lots of secrets about physics, okay? And we'll make it so it's very daily life kind of thing, okay? But here's the thing. Mama needs to talk. So, we told you about the grids. You don't have to believe it. We're saying we don't have to believe it. Ah, the countenance, it changes. Okay, so here's the deal. The Kali Yuga is dead. Poor Kali. It is done. You do understand it's just math. It's simple physics. It's done. With the adjustment in the grid. The 33. We explained it very well. So, the 33 is gone. And the crown has returned. Full power. In all. Mm. Pinil. Full power in all. Oh my. It's a little bit lighter in here, isn't it? All. Don't you understand, everybody, what's going on? Okay, here we go. Now. Hmm. Throat. Full power. All. Wait, it needs to be connected. Heart. Chakra. Easy now and very gentle. You don't have to have any of it. Don't take a thing. Doesn't matter. Full power on. For all. For all.
all for all of course of course yes everybody has a big heart it's so pretty and mama can talk to because it has ears now it has in a brain and it is a more awake it's all it's just a little brain well it's actually the big brain the little brain is up there and the big brain is down there and then you connect them you see with the eye don't you see how silly it is to un misunderstand something so simple so there we go that's how it works it's all connected and you have a little triangle oh how pretty and then we go to the solar plexus 100 percent you know now oh, it's full power for everybody everybody gets to feel did you notice it was the women who carried the feelings now it's the men too oh it'll be so much fun but uh, you don't have to partake dear ones no 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 it's okay you do whatever you want we love you anyway you want to do it and those who don't want to even know don't watch a video <laughs> it's like, ew, ooh, look at her she she looks like a big hag i don't want to watch that oh don't everybody don't look at that that's nasty <laughs> let it be like that so it'll be okay we love you so dearly and then the sacrum oh i must build oh i must do oh i must i must i must oh suddenly oh i want to produce but uh funny it's for different reasons but we are not complete okay so then we have root oh sweet root oh a favorite root the center creation dears <laughs> not <laughs> not a sewer creation paradox <laughs> dig it so understand that these are circles okay she tried to explain to someone so there we go spin and counter spin you see that's why you get so dizzy with the spin and counter spin oh they're so pretty Oh, one more. The thing is that they are not quite so hmm, relevant. Yeah, they're relevant, but the flow different now because they can. Because they can, yeah. Because they can. So we need to use this arm. It's been having troubles. We are still having some troubles. So this is the way it goes now. And it's very simple. It's a simple design. And what is the number? Well, that would be an eight, wouldn't it? <laughs> Funny how it works. <laughs> so, this is the eight. This is the octave. And its expression is the 44. With Divine Gaia glowing, saying, oh, I love you, see you. I know you. I love you. Thank you. And humanity understanding it is divine. Flowing with the Gaia. There are two balls that ride on each other, see? And, oh, they are talking. And the, and the humanity looks down and says, Oh! I know you. I see you. That's right. You have to see that something first before you know it, of course. So let's start over. Here's a little humanity that is actually quite big. <laughs> and humanity says, Oh, I see you, Mama Gaia. I know you, Mama Gaia. I love you, Mama Gaia. <sighs> Thank you, Mama Gaia. Understanding that they are reflections of each other. And then we turn to our fellow and we say the same words because understand that you are they and they are you. In Lakesh, they had that right. In Lakesh. We gave some of this to Melissa and we have given some to the one you see before you and then 
mask, some of it we kept hidden because we like that. So this is the way it goes. She has a little bit of a disability still because the disbelief is quite strong and this is something that is okay and she understands why and it's quite uh, something of a healing for uh, a pod and so it's a good thing to do gently and with help from others. So that's what she did. She has the Melissa help her in the morning and they all talk about the ancient stuff and it felt very good. Oh, oh yes, she says, oh my, oh my, no one's ever been nice to me before when I say these words. I have tried and tried and tried and everyone thinks I am full of shit and plus pretty dangerous. So what the hell, you're being nice to me, you want more? Because you wouldn't believe where I've been. <laughs> you want more? Uh, and then Melissa says, Well, yeah, dear. <laughs> and so it is revealed uh, how old they are and uh, where they come from and stuff like that. And it's very nice. It's like, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Well, then, oh, my hair, it's on fire. <laughs> And then you're in the place where it's, oh, well, that makes sense. Well, then we don't tell you a ding-ding thing because then we don't want hair on fire. Okay? Keep whatever belief you want. It's fine. We don't care. If it's working for you, then you should keep it. At all costs. Please, we invite you to stay where you are if you want. But the thing is that with these changes, then everyone knows. <laughs> Because Mama's gonna go get a treatment. Mama needs some help today. So Mama made sure that there was no baby here. That there was a little bit of money in Mama money. In the pocketbook. And we go and spend a very little amount. One five dollar. You know what that spells. That's a six, yeah. We are going to go say to brother, okay, now we got to get rid of the last. You keep coming to us and healing us, and this is the last one, okay? Okay, so we explained about many things, and we cannot uh, reveal much, but we are going to help with the physical structure, with the uh, biology, we say. We, that's what we're going to do, and as she's speaking the word, she understands uh, exactly what we're talking about. But uh, we have asked for others to join us and they have been in the corners for quite some time and no one has been very interested in being in that room if they are there they are not there for long because it's just very strong because you understand it was the Amy who told her about this room it is a little sauna and it's very clean and it's very pretty run by little pretty ladies who are very very respectful and so then she disrobes and she feels good about it anymore. And she dip, 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 and she plays in the water. And then she goes into the place where her friends are. And they are waiting for her and she's very happy because she wants to see them again. And it'll be a very nice reunion for her, which is well deserved. And so these four are going to stand. Uh, she is one of the four actually, but she's going to stand and she's also going to be laying down. You see how that works? And uh, the room is uh, entrusted with the, uh, yeah, with uh, representatives of the uh, Crystal Kingdom. Uh, there are all kinds of representatives there, and she will be working primarily with the uh, the salt, and then of course the smoky quartz. She was calling it brown, and uh, the clear. So, it's a matter of balancing light in the molecules, not in the cells. It is a molecular shift that is uh, that can occur once the blood has been uh, changed. And the conduction uh, is uh, altered in the biology. You might have noticed we talked about the, oh, I need to do this. We talked about the gold, yes, and that we removed it, the gold properties. I think we mentioned might remain okay so it's not that gold is evil dudes so the gold properties remain but the gold needed to be distributed you see and so it was in the blood that's why the blood had to change polarity to uh, let the gold go to the places it needs to be which uh, align with the 12 
perfect because there are extra body chakras now okay so here's how it goes we uh, are surprised but this is appropriate to reveal because we know that there are very few who are watching right now and this is how we wanted it it's how the writing was too we did not want a lot of attention and she knew instinctively you be quiet about this but you say the words say the words say the words say the words it must be done Melissa was the one to inspire this video and we want to give our love to Melissa. Melissa was the one to tell this one to uh, start doing little videos. And you keep it under six minutes, she said, or you don't have many people watch. Oh, well, will you look at the time. So, here's how it goes. It began. She had never looked in a mirror before. Not like this. She did not know what her face looked like. And so, so it began. She began to be more self-accepting and actually be looking forward to seeing the reflection and understand what she was becoming. So, soothed by it, and that is very good. That was the point. And then uh, we explained to the Melissa the progression and why you see what you see. And uh, if you want more information to still your mind, to make you think that perhaps this person is uh, being honest, well then, uh, there won't be a lot of that. It's up to you. We don't really care. And neither does she, you see. This was the final uh, thing. And this is what the Nancy, the, the grandmother, felt to. It is a final push. And it is voluntary. And it must be done uh, with intent. And with great great love and also with a sense of deep purpose of service this is not anything that is done for self I think that has become quite evident has it not you know the money in her pocket now it comes from grandmother grandmother wrote a check and mailed it to her home it was two zeros from what she had originally seen. And it was a beautiful thing that made her cry a few times. So then she was told, you get rid of all that money. Get rid of it, but spend it joyfully and in the, in celebration and, and in, in freedom. Go be free. Go be free. Go and be free. Have fun. Laugh. Feel sexy. Do that. Oh, it's so much fun. And she did. There is no vase, you see. No change. Mm -mm. All gone. There are a few coins that we advise. Just flipping out of the highway. Oh, let somebody have it. It's so old. It's so old. We call it old man money. And we do not mean anything bad by that. Because we love the men. And we love the women. And we love them young. And we love them old. Okay? So, it is the old consciousness money best typified by the uh, patriarchy and by Kali, they are twins. So, there you go. Lots of destruction and la la la. So, there we go. Yeah. Huh. So, this is what happens. There's just a little bit more information and some are older than others and some can hold it and some cannot. Simple. And this one can hold it because she was old and because she is determined and because she has the uh, skill the natural bent she's repeated this over and over in her writing she has not been shy <laughs> she is very happy for being such an exhibitionist knowing it was somehow okay yes it was so let's go back to the crystal room and then we will close because the stink is still there Okay, so there was this thing that happened and um, it uh, made her uh, not understand things well. And we finally showed her at night time, right before bedtime, what had happened to her brain. But she did not understand it was her. All she understood was that she was this big thing that was light and had planets in it. It was very cute. But she was very clear and she saw this funny thing. All this livers of Kathy. And she saw it and she said, oh. Finally, after feeling kind of saddened, that's me. 
and then it hit her. I know you. I see you. I see you. I see you. I know you. I love you. Thank you. It was like that. So they were coming together. The next day we showed her who she really is. And it was very pretty. And then there were many other things. And some of them will be shared and some will not because much of it is personal. It was said in the uh, Jesus video there are many things that happen between student and master that are not revealed and that is because it is just too personal. We are together and it is good. She understood that that means she's in her Merkaba is how she says it. Yes, they are in your deep in here. So it's all blending and fusing. But you see, before we started this activation and we were certain, uh, clear, this is the point of the conversation. Do both of you do agree? Does it sound reasonable that there would be some sort of healing and the understanding of great truth and stuff like that? Is that okay with you? Well, you push that button and you keep watching and then that the agreement, see, it's okay with you because you can turn it off. So, it's kind of a nice and lyrical thing, same with the writing. Ah, that's poopy stuff, I don't want to read that, that's boring. Good! Oh, goody, another one. It's okay, I get to love you, but you don't understand me. Hmm, I'm sad. Well, this is what's going to happen. It's so exciting. And we're glad it's a little bit longer. And now you understand why. The longer the video, the more incendiary the information usually haven't you noticed we go to the rock place and they are going to help with the uh, molecular level it's not cellular it's just inferred and so that will happen and then uh, she made a vow before the melissa uh, with us and we, she said i don't want to go any further unless my countenance changes I have to be rid of the anger. I have to be rid of the righteous indignation. I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. I don't want it anymore. No, I would not do this unless I can be like that. I want to be kind and I want to be compassionate and I want to be peaceful. And if you can do that for me, I will do anything for you. I will do anything you ask. That's what I want. And I understand that I can have it from you. You can heal me like that. And that's what I want. That is the deal, she kept saying. That is the deal. And we said, of course you want to be like your brother. And he loves you very much and he'll be there. He'll help you. So he is there, of course, and the others. And it's the way that we just hold light big. That's all. Okay? It does just start somewhere. Good nuts. So the rocks will help with the uh, light tending of things and stuff like that. The, it's magnetic though. And so it is done in very, it's very gentle. And it's done, of course, with mama water. Mama milk, the water. We must make sure that she's in the water because she is being birthed. So this is just a little birth. And so births are a little bit, she loves this before and after moment when there's something before and there's something after. A little place in between. Oh, that's her favorite place. That's where she is right now. That's the null zone. And so we close this way. So she made this very big vow. Well, it wasn't a vow. <laughs> no. That's the deal deal. No more. No more of this. No more. No more of that edge. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Just remove it. Because I know you can. You've done it before. That's the deal. So I'm going to go to that uh, sauna. And I'm going to 
trying to figure out the locker system. Oh my God, that's just so confusing. You should have seen me. I was going around in circles. What do I do with my shoes? What the fuck? I don't know how to do this. Well, I think I'm, it's the second time, so um, I'm a pro. And I'll dunk and do all that stuff. But it's the, uh, it's that room. And I don't know. I don't know. But I know I've got to heal. Um, <laughs> I don't know what will happen. And I certainly want to be able to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't. Do I want to get pissed off at anybody? Hmm? <laughs> really? For what purpose? To tell them that they bumped into me? Well, big fucking deal. <laughs> so what? Bump, I don't care. So I closed with what the teachers told me a long time ago. They said, all right, well, they're going to tell you what it, mean, it means to be ascended or what it means to ascend or whatever, to be to embody. Anything can happen. Anything, 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 anything. And it just goes right through you. Because you don't have any more attachments. Not in identity. Not in expectation of outcome. Not in desire, which I don't agree with. <laughs> Let it be said. <laughs> but um, it just go right through you. And I thought, wow, that would be really, that'd be awesome. If somebody could be a total, you know. And just see it a mile away and go, woo, all right, it's okay, whatever. That's what I'd like, yeah, yeah. And it's really not about letting it go through you like a bullet through your chest. It's more like going, yep, yeah. mm. no. Sun's out. And I've been saying that for a while. But then I saw that video and I saw all the anger. And I thought, oh, fail. <laughs> no, you didn't get it. <laughs> and that was only this morning. And then they explained a little bit about some things. And that's nice. So the thing is that this all began because I stepped in that mirror. And they said, okay, well, this is the moment of truth. I think they even said, what are you going to do, girly? What are you going to do, Gally? Huh? Hmm? You've worked hard enough, so what do you want? Do you want to keep in the desert? Is that what you want? Because you know it goes on forever. Ooh, it's so pretty. It goes on and on and on and on. Yeah. You want that? You can have it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you need proof. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Well, we're waiting. Proof. Hmm. But you're at the mirror, and you're making a decision about something so profound, so profound and beautiful. And uh, the point of your life. And you're stalling because uh, we didn't do a project. Mm. Well, you expected two, didn't you? Yes, you did. Jolly good. Not just one, I want two. <laughs> I didn't come. We told you, boop. And she stood there and stood there. <laughs> and then said, no. My life stands. It's a living testament to the truth that I am. That I am. That I am. It's a living testament to my understanding of my God. And um, I am very pleased with it. And I believe that my understanding will heal others. Just by stating my experience truly and honestly and uh, loving people. I think that I can do that now. That's what she said. She said, I want to take the flower from my heart and give it to everyone because it will never die now. That's what she said. And she did it. She took the green and she handed it. And she knew that her heart was still green and living. How can we not assist her today to take the pain away, yeah? So we are going to, we are going to assist her. It means a change in countenance, and she understood that this morning in the car. It means it, it goes away. It means things change, and it may be a slow in modulation. No one expected.
painting from her, please, at this time. Oh, this is how we end. I'll bet we just happen to end on the 44. Wouldn't that be interesting anyway? Here's the deal. You think she does this alone? Oh, oh, silly one. You think that you don't have a part in it? Well, dear one, if you're watching, you are part of it. <laughs> Understand you're holding the energy. You may be very old indeed. You may be as old as she. It's possible. You just don't know, do you? Do you know where you're from? They tell you that are the twelve tribes. So, which planet? Hmm? So, that's how it goes. Now, whales, we have said, do not swim. I know. Whales swim in pods. The other name for a pod is a group Merkaba. Understand that there are old ones here and they hold the whale energy. You are looking at one of them. There are not a lot of us, but there are quite a few. Very well placed in a very pretty geometric, actually. Bravo for us. So, here's the thing. If one wakes up, they all wake up because we are one. That's how it works. Now, it may be slow. There are many overlays. And the cracking of these overlays is a little bit difficult, but suddenly things are going to be a lot easier. And the ears are going mad. High-pitched noise in the left. Hmm. Yes, those are streams of data. Just plain old data, light. It's just like a telephone wire, but full of light and information. No way. The face is going so, so funny right now. Oh my, oh, look at that. So anyway, when one wakes up, they all wake up, and there are a few of them around. And they're just going to know some stuff, and they're going to feel better. You're just going to know they're going to feel better. When this occurs, then the others start to feel better too. Because it is simple magnetic inductance. How do we start? Well, she goes to this uh, creature place and she says, Dear, dear, sweet kingdom. They're not brothers and sisters, it is a kingdom. It is a different realm. And they are extremely, highly, vibrationally pure souls. And where one is, they are all, <laughs> all represented. Do you understand? They are multidimensional and they are all over this planet and they communicate. So she goes into the little rock thingy and she says prayers and she has a pure heart. We told you she has a pure soul and she's going to pray for things and be very sweet and she's going to sweat and sweat and sweat and we are going to ask her to drink some water before she go and have some water in the car because she probably will puke and so that's okay she's done it before so she will not the heart will not stop this time it, it, it would be and no one no one it would be experiencing any thing but benevolence with this one dear that's the point so she sits there and she tells her prayers to the kingdom and she asks for their guidance and existence and their healing and they are going to adjust her molecular biology and then after that happens then she'll have a period of just needing to rest so isn't it funny how the boy is gone <laughs> isn't it funny how there's some food in the house and a little bit of money in her wallet just enough to buy something that pleases her quite greatly, perhaps a little shake. But anyway, then she come home, she probably sleep for about 12 hours, but it could be that it's six, who knows, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it just doesn't matter, it's detail. And then um, there is a general awakening, and um, all kingdoms feel it, and then it just sort of goes, we say, 
travel with little too big and big too little the telescope and all that yeah 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 it is slow you think this happens all at once oh my god it's been going on for so long <sighs> don't you worry about the thing it's very gentle it's only a few who are affected you see that's how it works it's a uh, inductance and so it just is a nice gentle roll the idea here is that people will ha we start to have new thoughts new uh, ways of expression new ways of communicating that feel good and suddenly not feeling good is uh, more intensely uncomfortable we explained to the one before you that uh, she would experience uh, certain things that would become more and more uncomfortable and so she is not uh, permitted to lie this is why she can say I don't lie because she does not she cannot it is not possible for her biology but well, it is certainly possible but then it hurts and it's like an insertive thought but it's, it burns and it becomes more and more burny not less it's icky and so she had to stop that nonsense so it's like that with some of these bad things and just being nasty to each other it's just going to be more and more uncomfortable to be around and it's like oh you want to act like that well okay you know i can't do it anymore it makes my body hurt and i understand you don't appreciate that but i do and uh, my comfort matters to me and i i wish you so much peace i do every single day i hope you have some peace and better and better and better but you know what i figured out it's not my job oh isn't that funny and everything is happy and peaceful you see there is no more fighting there's many resets going on they will be uh, some of them they're not supposed to be electrical at all but we say there may be a little bit of grid wobble with this because there's a lot of light coming in and it's not from above or below and shooting out your offices it's not like that no this isn't some gift that's just bestowed upon you dear one this is your akash remembering something that you've done perhaps many 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 times before that's all it's you remembering a strain of music as it comes through the air and it becomes a craving that you cannot satisfy any other way it is remembering why you are here now not everyone is here to do this particular task and we do not expect everyone to go oh this is the best thing for me no and if uh, you're not able to you will not be able to as simple as that but that is that individuals who are alone and isolated and they understand that these words are true they understand that they have held this knowledge for their lives and uh, they have perhaps never had it reflected ever by anyone understand this one only heard what three or four weeks ago the great crayon say well here's this thing about what the whales were doing back uh, in the 90s well she had gone to the teachers and said well, I see that the whales are suicidal and I think this is a mad house and it hurts to be here every single day and so if the whales are going I need to know why because if they are suiciding I need to go you need to let me go I don't want to stay here for a destruction I'm not willing to do that is what she said and that is when we took her and showed her the job and she remembered of course and then it was oh crap because she only knew about giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving she hadn't figured out anything else because she was shattered it was just a it was a misunderstanding and she just wasn't wired that day and it just it could have been such a simple thing and it wasn't it wasn't oh my god but we fix it 
but she doesn't understand it. She kept thinking, no, you're supposed to have three of these things. Ding, ding. I have the mirror thingy. And I was so clear and I felt so good. And then I have the silver thingy. Was the third thingy. Well, it's coming, dear one. So we give the $15 to the little girl and then we go and we dunk and then we do that thing and then it feels so good and then we want you to go and eat something a meal because you have the money now you know she earned 75 dollar last night <gasps> doing this isn't that nice we are so so pleased and uh, we want to close by saying that it was truly a high honor to have papa there for that night because they had gone through a series of intense uh, identity issue things and it was very good work we are so so very very stunned at the beauty of it all and all the love for the two of you who have had arguments and stuff like that and you know mama oh my goodness the arguments but she didn't want to speak and so he had to carry the energy of both oh dear one you did such a but you are healed from so much, so much. And we want to say it is all easy street for you now, okay? It is just easy street. And you are so smart with the veil. And, uh, we told you the Marjorie too, she was a vortex there. Yeah. And uh, Grandpa, your father, all of these great, great pillars of light that you love with all of you including this one in front of you and she knows that dear one so well now thank you for languaging it she was shattered it wasn't your fault or anyone's fault it was just something that happened to her brain and it was a bad day and and she never really recovered and she tried and we tried all around that crib oh my god but it didn't work and then she saw it she understood wait a minute no one has been hit to harm me. It's just that I was a little shattered. I didn't know. I didn't understand. I could never understand. I just could never understand. But she understands now. And this is the gold. And that was the desert. Having to decide. Do you want to stay like that? You can. Okay? It's okay. We love you. If you need to do that for this lifetime, then we, there's others who are ready. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We just go on to the next. There's plenty, there's plenty, dear. The world is not on your shoulders. What do you want? How, how much are you whole? How much do you understand you are whole? And that this is a reflection of something. What is it a reflection of dear? It's a reflection of the one who was in the white with the planets who said, oh, I see you. I know you. I love you. Oh, thank you. Like that. When she figured that out, well, then it was, oh, then I'm the creator, la, la, la. Well, okay. Isn't it about coming to center, understanding the creator, and understanding the responsibility to self and to others as a representative of something so dear and so life-giving? So... Believe it or not, I don't think it's very harmful to believe. But that is up to every single person in the whole world. So what matters is we get to go to the sauna now and then we get to eat the ice cream. I think I'm going to want one of those. Oh, it's a banana split with the white ice cream and uh, the brown chocolate that's hot and uh, it's sweet. And then um, the whipped cream and I want extra cherries. <laughs> and a cherry lime aid. Oh, I think there might be enough money. I think so. What do you think? She told the Melissa, 
that she would do a video and it would just be a short one and it would tell her a little bit about the com conversation but then also it would state the intention of what she was going to do next but how can she possibly do this without explaining a thing or two yeah because you might feel a little bit different see that's how it works and so we have been trying to explain this for millennia and uh, we're finally glad that there is some sort of record that might be seen oh one last thing baby one last thing baby okay here's this you know the time when we put the ones up that were irreverent and so we smoke and it was talking about uh, sexual healing or oh, through fantasy and reality creation and things like that okay deep things this is when we adjusted some of the energetic stuff because it was too soon to uh, uh, explain it that white thing could have even been weaponized so we don't do that no more no 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 more you got the show you earned it from now on this is one of the agreements we're making in there so it would be interesting but we smoke now because we got to tell you something funny So we made the strip with the red. Okay, we made her get something glittery on. And do you notice the rings? Well, she has a thing. She wants every ring to be this thing and whatever. So, but she had the rings on, didn't she? And she had the earrings too, the big bobs of, of, uh, of diamond light. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And the eye makeup that she made fun of. Okay, but did you see anger in those videos? Hmm? Not a whole lot. It was pretty balanced. It was funny. It was irreverent and she was beginning to understand that she was quite fitting and uh, engaging and not scary. See, that was the thing. The other ones are a bit scary, but they had to set the tone. You had to understand how serious this was and that's why the tears were required. You needed to see someone kind of breaking apart in a way, but in octaves of understanding. And then, phew, Funny, funny, funny. That was quite an arduous day. <laughs> she rebelled something. Oh my. And it, then it's over. And then the null happened. Okay? So the null. After that, nothing artificial, dear one, remains. What is artificial? Wouldn't that be overlays? Hmm? Wouldn't that be, oh, I don't know, biological coding? Hmm. Wouldn't that be the substance that you and Melissa spoke about at length? Is that artificial? Is it true? Or is it a reaction to truth? This is what we ask. This is the question that's being asked as she walks into that uh, sauna. Hmm. It's a philosophical question as well as a deeply, profoundly esoteric, scientific one. And so, let this great mind work. You have a great mind in front of you and one who will lead the way. Now, what she's doing is just, she's just doing something that she knows how to do. That's all. Simple. That's all she knows. She is like a whale. And what did they do? Did they go, ah, I smell land. We better avoid it. No. As Crayon said, as the great master, Crayon said, the whales know what to do. They just know. Did we not explain it in the wind essay? When we said there, when there comes a great windstorm, there are many who are in the dwellings and the wind may rattle the windows a little bit but they are safe and warm and with their loved ones they are set they are okay they are perfect they are full of love and surrounded in love and they are well blessed and God is well pleased this is the it's a wonderful state to be in wonderful not bad at all in any way and then 
Well, there's those who are outside. They have not made their way. For some reason, struggle um, is something that they understand. And there they are, and they're wind whipped, and their skin is raw, and it's chapped, and they're having hardships, and hardships, and hardships. It's because they know they need to get somewhere, but they don't know where, and they don't know how. And so the wind comes, and it's very scary for them. And then there are those who, long ago, got up in the middle of the night and uh, they made their way out of their dwellings and said goodbye, you know, I love you so much but I got to go do this thing and um, so they walk and walk and as they walk they strip clothing by clothing so when they get to the hill they are um, naked and then they stand there with their arms open Waiting. We explained it already. First wave. Second wave. And then the third wave is, an, is sort of an amplification of the second. Of those who uh, don't find their way out of this, out of the fear, then it becomes worse and worse and worse and worse, and then they need special attention. You see, and so that's what we give them. That's the first second and third is tertiary it's the end of the wave but understand what <laughs> rides above and what sings below and anchors the entire thing is love dwellings full of love people loving each other being kind and gentle to each other, showing compassion to each other. This is why many of the people who have their arms outstretched are happy to do so, because not being in that kind of environment is physically painful. It's easier to be alone on a hill than listen to the nonsense. So. This is why we say it's kind of important to talk about how to get along with one another. But the reset helps with everybody. It's like suddenly it would be really reasonable to go and talk to someone who you had an argument with and get over it. Hmm. And it's right to do so and there's no ill will anymore. It's just done. And we can be friends now. Isn't that funny? Oh, I like this so much. Like that. It's very simple and natural and normal and no one's going to complain about it or go, Oh no, this is such a bad thing. Well, I tell you what, if anyone does that, then they're going to stick out like a sore thumb. That's the point. As the lights come up, you see the dysfunction and you assist in its healing and its comfort at least. You do not heal without permission, ever, but you certainly can lend comfort, balance, gentleness, compassion. And yes, if there is permission, then of course, healing, of course, healing, of course, healing, of course, healing, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. What else is there? <laughs> what else is there? Doesn't this one stand as a bit of a testament to that, huh? So, we'll see. Proof is in the pudding, yes? You don't know if you're watching a bowl of pudding or someone who is crackers, do you? But I think it's becoming quite clear. The latter of the two would be uh, perhaps more projection than uh, reality. But the truth is this. Standing in front of that mirror, looking into your eyes as any one of us because we can assure you there are many and she knows that that's why she called it the council of 12 years she knew she was one of them and she knew that they were big and uh, she didn't understand more now she understands more and that's nice that's what the be that's what the process is is just being able to contain more 
remember more, be responsible for more. So, many have set the tone, and this is just very technical, blah, blah, blah. Technical, it's technical. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you are acting toward each other, how you feel in your heart day to day. If you are having comfort in your body and in your mind at night, if you have got enough to eat, if your boss is treating you with respect, this is what matters. This other stuff is the nandada, but you better believe it's laid out and it's researched and it is pristine. So uh, there's much that needs to be added. And the Melissa said, well, maybe you do the base 12 then, wouldn't that be fancy? Said, but I know what I'm doing next lifetime. Kryon, he, he gave the dare. <laughs> and they're not going to keep me from it. I'm going to do it. I'll be really mad if someone does it before me. <laughs> That's what I want to do. She has not languaged it and we ask her not to. You can drop hints. And you have. But... Well, one kind of might know, but no one else. So, this is what we say. Is this unusual? Oh, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Isn't that the point? A whale doesn't swim alone, dear. And consciously or unconsciously, there are others. And they are holding tremendous light. And others who have a, a, a very deep akash and a very deep heart. And who are lovely individuals. And, you know, it doesn't, it's just an accident of birth. It's an accident of birth, yeah. And uh, awareness, because uh, all hold what we hold. That's sort of the point. 100% is 100%, you know. But it's about embodiment, isn't it? That's how we started it. It's about embodiment. It's about intention. It's about dropping of uh, doubt. And uh, it's about skill. It's about knowing what to do when. And it really isn't skill just being obedient to something bigger than you. <laughs> That's what the whale is doing. That is what she is doing. Putting her little self in the car. And I tell you, she is quite a hot little number. And she's going to put herself in that position and be so happy. And feel like a million bucks, as they say, because she can come home and smell the incense she loves and watch some gimme. We want her so much to write an essay and we want also to... Uh, have the transcription begin but uh, it is not time it's too fast we slow down after and we appreciate those who are following along it is astounding to her that anyone would be watching any of this just as she always said i can't believe anyone would read any of this crap <laughs> i can't believe it i never would oh, well it's not true she would read and read and read some of them but uh, no it's just still it's just very shocking to her that anyone reads or watches so uh any word of think is very nice. Okay, so we're going to help with the stink now. We've explained what that is from and uh, what it symbolizes. And uh, she understands uh, much that she didn't before and she must ask for permission. And uh, she hasn't done that. So it all comes together and you can feel her coming back in your note. 10822. Two. Huh? I'm really glad I have no shame in releasing this. This I can release. There have been much, there's been much that has been told me and I've been shown that I just, now it's like, mm, no, it's not. Mm, mm. Thinking that, you know, people would go, ah, and really it's just like, who needs to know it? God. Can't you just accept that you're in school? <laughs> and you, you really like watching this lady? All right. Let her be your instructor, dude. Just let it happen. And that's pretty much what's been happening uh, with the intuitive bumps and you must do this and you must do that, that kind of thing. Which I appreciate because, um, oh, I just do. So, well, I don't know. You do understand I'm able to, like, go out and get a beer. <laughs> I'm not entirely difficult to know. I just, um, and this stuff, I, my intention is once I'm done with that, I may keep on talking about it here because I think it's entirely appropriate simply because you guys may need it. 
That's what Melissa said, you know. Who is out there who can look you in the eye and tell you, yeah, this, this is real. Yeah. This is what happened to me anyway. So, here. Here. If this is happening to you, then, uh, yeah. Isn't that nice? We're, we're together, finally. <sighs> yeah. I think it's about time. I think it's about time someone did it. No one's done it so far. Well, they have. They have. But I feel like it's been cloaked in this um, mysticism, and it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> how do I apply this? How do how do how do I make my finances turn around? How do I how do I get along better with my family, and how do I feel better in my heart? I mean, if this is just about you know, I don't know, foo foo stuff and uh, new rules about how to eat, and how to dress, and what to chant, and shit. I don't. I'm not interested. Screw that. It's a different time. I just want to really be able to hear my heart. So um, there's a lot of loose ends, and I feel that. But I have a sense that um, I'm just going to be gently held and um, have have love applied to me in a new way. It feels like that. It's very gentle. And then I will come back and do another video. But <laughs> after I've eaten some ice cream, I can't wait. I love ice cream. I love that banana split idea. <laughs> I won't tell you how I usually like to eat it. It's really gross. It's really fun. All right. I'm out of here. Bye.